and that comes later. Um, and so you can make a magnet without even having a magnet. Because uh, you can have just a piece of metal with electrons moving. That's an electric current. That's an electric current up there that generates a magnetic field. Here is a piece of metal that is magnetic when it's in the presence of a magnetic field. And here's a monkey next to it. Let me uh, make sure that I turn on the electric current. Current's on. <laughs> this got beat up a bit over time. I'm going to hang him upside down. Magnetically attached. Now, what will happen is if I turn off the power or if I break the electric circuit, the monkey will fall. So here I have a gun, it's a blow gun, there's a metal slug in it, and when I blow in, the slug flies out, it knocks this paper clip out of the way, breaking the electric circuit. So the whole electric circuit is sort of contingent on that paper clip. What that means is when the bullet comes out of the gun, the monkey drops at exactly the same time. Now, why would I set that up? So the monkey thinks he's clever, right? The gun is pointed right at me. So if he fires the gun, and I let go right at that moment, the bullet will just go right over my head. Right? Now, and here's the idea. Won't the bullet and the monkey fall at exactly the same rate? They'll both accelerate towards the ground at 10, 9.8, 10 meters per second squared. So it's a terrible idea. In fact, what he should probably do is just stay there and let the bullet go underneath him, because bullets fall just like everything else. Now, in the amount of time it takes the bullet to get from here to here, it doesn't fall that much. And if the bullet's coming out even faster, it'll get here faster and won't fall as much, right? So with a real gun, the monkey should probably not stay there, because the bullet is not going to fall much in that short amount of time, right? But that is a slow bullet, right? But this is something you have to compensate for. And archers obviously have to compensate for it, right? You want to hit that distant target, you go like this, right? Because it's going to fall. Um, with guns, you can be a little sloppier about it. All right, so it usually takes me like three times to actually hit the monkey. Just, I don't want you to get your focus up too much. So. <laughs> oh, we got it. Oh, yeah. oh, OK, I believe I'm aimed right at the monkey. I don't know if I'm going to hit the monkey. Ready? I'll do it again. Well, if I hit it, I'm not going to hit it again. Time to go out on it. Okay. 